Hi, this is John Malvey from My Bookkeeper Software. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your first company within Bookkeeper. So when you first start Bookkeeper, you're going to come to the company selection window. And in here will always be the sample company that you can use to play around with. And it's a good idea just to get in if you just want to get familiar with different things within Bookkeeper. It's a good place to kind of try things out to see when they work or how they work. And then when you're ready, you can click on new to be able to create your company. This it works like as a wizard. So there's two different types of company setups. There's an express setup and a standard setup. We'll go through both so I can show you what the different options are within each. So I'll choose the express setup. I'll click on start. I'll give my company a name. Oops. And I will choose the accounting method. For this demo, I'm going to choose cash. If you're not sure whether or not you should choose cash or accrual, please check with your accountant. The main difference here is what or how the transaction, certain transactions will hit your general ledger. So it doesn't affect what is available to you within Bookkeeper. It's just how those transactions are going to show in your trial balance and your GL. So again, check with your accountant if you're unsure. It's going to ask you for the next fiscal year end. It always defaults to the next December 31st. Just keep in mind that you will not be able to enter transactions that are prior to one year earlier than this. So in this example here, I wouldn't be able to enter a transaction uh, in June of 2019. I wouldn't be able to do that. So keep in mind when setting that up that you can change that if you need to. It'll set up your first checking account. So you can put in a starting balance if you want. And I can also set a starting check number if I want. Click on next. I'll set my password. Make sure they match. And you'll probably want to enter a security question and an answer in case you do forget your password. It's always good practice. And then I create my company. And my company is done. I've created it. I'm not going to get into the importing. Uh, that will be covered in another video at this point. So I close out of here. I will be asked to log in. I'll get to my company overview window. And now I'm ready to work. A couple other key points that I'll touch on if you're going to be uh, writing checks or if you're going to be doing invoicing that involves sales tax, you'll probably want to set up a couple of other accounts to get yourself going. So from the company menu, let me first start with the manage current company information option. And here's where you can change any of the contact information about your company. There's a bunch of other options within here for your passwords, setting up email, payroll, um, a variety of other things that will be covered in, in more detail in another video. But if I want to get my sales tax definitions, so uh, I'm just going to say I want to set up a uh, Massachusetts uh, sales tax account. And now Bookkeeper has all of these uh, tax accounts for sales tax and, and payroll withholding taxes uh, all set up in, in the Bookkeeper um, chart of accounts. But they don't make it, Bookkeeper doesn't make it active for every company. So you do have to come and activate it. So when I click here, I'll be able to see all the accounts that are not active in Bookkeeper right now. And if I scroll down and look for the I'll be able to see my Massachusetts state sales tax. So I'm going to click on that. And if I'm going to be doing pay, uh, state payroll, uh, I'll want to select this one as well. All right, so if I do that, I'll enter my rate. But the important thing is if I go down here, I'll see my Massachusetts sales tax account here that I can set up for. So this is if I'm going to be setting up uh, doing invoicing that's going to be for sales tax. You're going to want to do that. The other one is for check setup. So if you're going to be printing checks, you're going to want to select what type of check that you're going to be printing. And so here's the standard checks that are available. If you're using Deluxe or NEBS, you can click here for a cross-reference. We also support these as well. All right, But you're going to want to choose a check type that matches what you have so that when you go to print checks, uh, you know what format you're going to use. Um, if you don't have one selected and you try and go and print checks, Bookkeeper will remind you that one needs to be selected. 
and then you can just say OK, and you're good to go. All right, so that is uh, an express company setup. I'll just show you how to do the standard company. And if I go to the company menu, do a new company, here's how I can go create a new one. Now if I go to standard, I'll again enter my company. I'll skip all the rest of this, but you can enter whatever information you'd like to at this point. Again, my accounting method. The difference here is now I can select a chart of accounts. So Bookkeeper has a standard set chart of accounts that just comes as a default. If your company is aligned closer maybe with one of these here, you can certainly select one of these options here and this will kind of give you a, uh, a starting base for your, uh, your chart of accounts for this type of industry, if that helps. If not, and you want to go with the Bookkeeper standard, that's perfectly fine. You can always add to your chart of accounts as you need to. And while you're here, you can set an opening balance. Just make sure that your net opening balance comes to zero. So if you have a positive amount here, just make sure you have a negative amount somewhere else. And here, if you wanted to add your state sales tax account, like we talked before, you can do that here. Payroll holding accounts, you can do that here as well. And if you want to select from another account that Bookkeeper may already have in its system, you can go through here and look for all these different types of accounts that you can kind of just click and add to if you need to, and it'll get added to this list. So once I'm done, I click OK. The fiscal year end, pretty much the same as we talked before. Again, same information about the bank account, and starting check number, balance. Uh, you can put in some additional information about the bank if you'd like. And then here it gives you the option to select whether or not you want to use basic payroll or advanced payroll. So Bookkeeper comes with two different types of payroll processing. Basic payroll, it's very fast. You do it kind of employee by employee. Advanced payroll, you can assign employees into payroll cycles and pay by cycle. There's a lot more details about what you can do with advanced payroll. And please check our other videos to help you decide which one is best for you. So for basic payroll, you can put in your tax ID number, your federal unemployment tax rate, uh, tax ID number uh, for the state, as well as any state information. Again, if you don't enter it here, that's fine. You can always enter it later on. If I click the advanced payroll option, it just gives you a message saying you've got to set this up somewhere else, and we'll show you how to do that. And in fact, I will leave this option set up here um, just to show you where, uh, where that gets set up. And then again, enter my password, security questions, create my company, and again, I'm all good to go. Log in, and I can begin my work. And for the advanced payroll, again, just to get here, again, manage current company information, click on the additional tab, and you will see a payroll button here. And if I click on this, I have a whole bunch of information that I can enter in regarding the wages, taxes, deductions, time off, payroll cycles, and there is a whole other video that explains this in a lot more detail, so I won't go into that over here, but this is how you would get to uh, setting up your advanced payroll. And note that if you do select advanced payroll, you cannot go to basic payroll. If you are on basic payroll, you can always upgrade to advanced payroll. And that's it, setting up your check type and sales tax account, just like we described for, uh, for an express company. But that's the, that's the way to kind of get yourself up and going so you'll be able to do stuff within Bookkeeper. You'll have other videos that'll show you a lot of what you can do in all these other different types of sections, so please check that out. So thanks for watching, and thanks for being a Bookkeeper customer.